Hi, Johan here with Liquid Files. Today I want to talk to you about Liquid Files version 2.6 and the changes that's happened in this release. So Liquid Files version 2.6 is very much a file drop release. So pretty much all the features that have been enhanced or changed has to do with the file drops in one way or another. So as you can see, I have configured already a test file drop and uh, this is the way it looks. And this is pretty much the way it's been ever since file drops has been uh, has been introduced. So, uh, so the first thing I wanted to highlight is that we have now a couple of checkboxes here. So the first one is to have have to do with sending download receipt to the file drop recipient or the file drop owner. So on default, file drops receipt are sent to the file drop owner, and this uh, this happens if you have CC uh, CC recipients on this file drop and they download files from this file drop then a download receipt will be sent to the file drop owner and this can be a bit annoying if you have a lot of cc's and a lot of file drops so if you don't wish this behavior you can uncheck this and and no download receipts will be sent to the file drop owner <coughs> the more exciting feature at least to me is that we now have the ability to send download receipts to the sender so if we just save this and look at this here, nothing has really changed. But what happened is that we will now send a download receipt to the, to the, the file drop sender. sender. Is yeah. that we now have external at com type com and they are sending a file drop. So we just attach a file here and when we click send, we will see that there is a slight change here and that we now include a message ID. So this message ID can be saved now for the, the file drop sender and they can query uh, the company to say, have someone downloaded my message. But they will also receive a download seat. So when, in this case, anyone downloads, so, or the file drop owner or any CC downloads, a download receipt will be sent to the uh, to the sender of the file drop so whoever enters their email here they will receive a download receipt so pretty pretty heavily requested feature um, we've also added custom style sheet and custom javascript that affect this file drop only so this is for instance if you want to brand a specific file drop differently from the rest of the system this is now much easier so a, an, a quick example would just be to add a background color for the footer so blue not terribly exciting probably didn't spell that correctly background color and the footer now turned blue so not terribly exciting as an example but I'm sure you get the idea that if you want to brand this Anything that you can do with JavaScript or style sheets uh, can now be loaded and they're loaded specifically only for this particular file drop. Another very heavily requested feature that's been added in version 2.6 is the ability to add custom fields. So say that you have a file drop here and it's for say print jobs. So you, you can specify who it's from and the subject and message and so on. But it's been very heavily requested that we add custom fields so that you can say well what's the what's the size for this print job and things like that so now we have the ability to do that so let's just add a couple of these as an as an example you can add as many or as few of these as as you want uh, add to our newsletter and we save this reload the page and now you see that there has been a couple of additional form fields that have been added that we configured. So the first is the comment. Let's go back here. So we have the comment, we have the size, and we have the add to our newsletter. So we comment, the size, and add to our newsletter. So we see that we have the placeholder. Tell us something here. And you can also see here, it's not really visible on the file drop page at this point, but this is a required field. And we also have added some JavaScript validation. So we'll show you here. 
uh, in, in a minute how that looks. And on the size we can see that we have the small, medium and large uh, options and large is the default setting. Uh, the default setting and add to our newsletter is a checked checkbox on default. So this is a checked checkbox on default add to our newsletter. And we can see that large is the default. So let's just add a file and see how the validation works. And we can see that this comment along with the user, uh, the from and the subject is a required field. So we have external at company.com. And we can also see now that this this uh, this validation and we require this. So this particular is not a very ex exciting regular expression, but this means that you have to enter the, the characters A to Z uh, or letters C zero to nine and at least three of them. So when we have three, this validation will be satisfied. And we can set this to say medium. And now when we click send, we can go in and look at this message so this would be the second message view message so you can now see that these fields have been added to the top of the message so we have the comment the size and the add to our newsletter uh, along with the file that's been sent and the message the next thing i wanted to talk to you about is ftp drops so liquid files starting with version 2.6 now has the ability to accept incoming F FTP, SFTP and SCP connections. So this is uh, uh, ideal if you have an existing workflow where say you have a batch job that is uploading some files using FTP and you want to integrate the liquid files into this workflow and have liquid files accept these files instead. So the way to add this is, uh, is very simple. Uh, you give it a, f a friendly name, test FTP, and drop test uh, set a username that uh, this uh, uh, that you authenticate with using FTP, SFTP, or SAP, and a password. Uh, and the rest of the config configuration is very similar to how a file drop is. And the, and and this is this is how the the design is that this is a the FTP drop is very much like an FTP version of the file drop of the web based file drop. So you have a max file size how long someone can download this file after it's being uploaded, who is going to receive the, the message that someone has dropped the file, cc'd, who can download and accepted file types and so on. So after we save this, we fire up our trusty FTP client, connect, test.com, username, password, and then we can connect. And any file that we upload here has now been delivered. So we can now see that we have a new message uh, that is being sent to burntspringfield.com. Here's the test file we uploaded. It's for the test FTP drop and we used the FTP connection and uh, and the, the the description of the of the FTP. We don't have any messages, obviously, with with FTP or or these protocols. So to, so there's really not much to not much to add here. But we have very simply added FTP uh, incoming FTP to to liquid files using this method. And similar, we have added email drops. So email drops. Well, let's just delete this and start from scratch. Uh, so, so email drops is a, is a similar way where we accept incoming emails using SMTP. So, uh, so, so again, give it a friendly name. So test email drop. And, uh, and one thing with, with email is that, uh, which is we're using a, a fairly nice feature, which is I mean, it was intended from the beginning, but no one really uses it these days. In the when we have like the corporate emails, and we we pretty much use this uses the, the domain as uh, so we have like user, uh, uh, you know, first name dot last name at company dot com as our email addresses. Uh, but the, the but on the internet, systems can also deliver emails directly to the to the fully qualified domain name. 
So we so so this is the function that we use so user in using in this case. So any really fully qual qualified domain name that you have for your liquid file system uh, will actually accept email and it will, this will work on the, on the on the internet just fine. So you can pretty much give it any left hand side that you want any valid uh, any val any valid name and just as long as you're using something like a fully qualified domain so we have files.liquidfiles.liquidftest.com here so files.liquidftest.com here will be a deliverable email domain so in this case we're just going to use this email drop at files.liquidftest.com similar to the file drop we can download this for 14 days it's being delivered to burns at springfield.com and NSCCs and very similar configuration so we're firing up our email client and in here we're just typing email drop okay email drop at files.liquidftest.com uh, test message we add an attachment and we send this message and uh, this email client is not actually connected to any email server so we're just going to cancel this but we can now see again in the messages that we have received a message from homer at springfield.com and it's using the test email drops let's just open this message uh, we have from homer at springfield.com uh, we have the test message and it's in the test email drop and here's the file that that was attached to, to that message so and again a very simple simple way to accept incoming incoming emails as file drops so again if you have a workflow where you're using emails to do to deliver a lot of uh, a lot of jobs so this this can be a nice a nice addition and uh, that's pretty much all the file drop or file drop like changes and additions that happen to liquid files in this release and it's only really one more feature i wanted to, to show you and in the account settings now from version 2.6 we now have a signature so a small and fairly requested feature so now you can just say um, um, regards monty this is monty burns and any message now will just have the signature added here when you begin typing your message. So that was it for version 2.6 of, of Liquid Files. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.